there's not a lot of conversation about the disadvantages of being attractive. Oh, don't worry, sweetie. You have none of those disadvantages. One, as a woman, you will have a hard time making friends. I've met people who gravitate towards me because I'm attractive because they think in proximity they will get some of my privileges. I've had friends that cut me off out of the blue for literally no reason. I have friends that have told me to humble myself. It's gonna be hard to date. I've met men who just want to be with me to be a trophy. Stop the cap! Sweetie, I don't mean to take you down from the Lulu land, but you're talking about beautiful woman problems, and you don't have beautiful woman problems. Hell, you don't even have pretty woman problems. Your problems are... How should I put this? Guess what? It's another fall, and I'm still single. You wanna know why? No. I've had a lot of requests for school. Uh, that's like the main thing. 100 bottles for a thousand bucks. Sold it out in two weeks. Maybe closer to three weeks. I had 100. I mean, I was wasting it before. You know, I've said it in previous videos, but the real problem isn't the women who do this kind of crap. It's the simps that enabled them. For instance, this, the slash <laughs> this young, bright eyed individual sat on his knees in front of her eggplant intake apparatus and was baptized by the lubricant of Slanish, so all of TikTok can learn how to simp properly. Okay. Oh my god! But if you ask me, it is better to die for the Emperor than to live as a simp. Examples of men not being able to handle being subjected to content that caters to women even though women every single day have to endure content only made for men. The first category is just when they have to start seeing something made for women too much and the obvious example is the Barbie movie. They were just so annoyed that Barbie was everywhere they could not escape it. Sweetie, I don't know what planet you're living on but most of us men, except for Ben Shapiro who doesn't really count, didn't give a flying funk about Barbie. It's a movie made by 40 plus year old, 12 year old girls for the other 40 plus year old, 12 year old girls, if you get my point. And well, we had more interesting things to do, like watching paint dry. Another category is when something men see as being made for them starts to be a little less made for them, like when they made this female centric Marvel movie and they lost their minds. Sweetie. That movie bombed at the box office so hard, it almost made the nuclear bomb jealous. You're goddamn right. Trust me, you don't want to take this any further. The same thing happened when they tried to put women in the Ghostbusters movie. Oh, shut up! And the same thing happened to Bud Light and Star Wars. Female executives and their simpy yes-men thought it would be a good idea to take established male brands turn them into girl brands and lose billions of dollars in the process. In short, they... Put a chicken in and make a lady gay! And this is why every time I hear women say they can do anything we can do, I remember the stellar achievements of Alyssa Gordon, Heinerscheid and Kathleen Kennedy, and I burst out laughing. <laughs> but sweetie, it really doesn't matter. You lovely ladies can keep Marvel and Star Wars. Hell, watching those brands disintegrate in real time is actually more entertaining than the movies they put out. But you see, we're men. We innovate, adapt, and overcome. We're gonna make something better than Star Wars. And we're not gonna put a chick in it or make it lame. And that's the bottom line, cause don't go censor. <laughs>